All right, y'all, welcome back. What we're gonna tie today. This is one of my favorite little topwater springtime summer bugs. It's a little black cricket, nothing magical to it. Uh, thread that we're tying with today uh, is 70 denier in black. Hook that we're tying on is a little bitty booger. It is a uh, Umqua uh, 203 in curve, size 16, and it is 3X long. Uh, you can tie these all the way down to uh, a size uh, 10 is usually about where I stop. For our tails, we just got a couple pieces of black biot. Hopefully you guys are having a good weekend. Tails roughly length of the shank. Clip those off just a little bit. Catch those in. Secure them down. We're gonna come back and put a little figure eight in them just to keep them separated. Just like that. If you guys aren't friends with us over on Facebook, go check us out on Facebook. We're doing a live uh, tie today. Uh, for the underbody and the overbody, we're just using black two millimeter foam. I do an extra step with this. I take a small piece of this black foam, cut a good taper on it, and I use that to help float it. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. Let me get this trimmed out. I'm gonna trim my black foam into a V. Gonna pinch it down a little bit. down on top of the hook, tighten it down so it don't roll on you. This is where the extra step comes in. Just a little small piece of black foam. I'm going to catch that in on the edge. Now I'm going to use this to help build up my body. You can use super glue or something on here if you want to. I prefer not to, just because I'm trying to keep it as light as possible. Just break that out. Open loops on the way back. We're gonna come in with some black, uh, super fine, dry fly dubbing from Wopsy. up a little noodle here not a whole lot needed just enough to cover it sticking on my fingers there we go okay now when we get here we're gonna tie our legs in. That's the old school set of legs. These are tied out of a little hackle stem. These will get broke off after a few fish. You don't really have to bother them with them if you don't want to. Sometimes they can be a pain in the butt. Kind of like these are right now. Here we go. the other side in, same length. There we go. Come in and clip those out. We don't need them anymore. I don't think the fish would notice if you skip that step. We're gonna bring our body over. Catch that down right on the top. Make sure you don't squash your legs out of the way. There we go. I'm gonna stretch this foam. I'm gonna run it up to the hook eye, almost. I'll leave a little bit. 
and then we'll come back. I guess a nice tying point right there. And we'll come in with a piece of hackle. This is dry fly and black. Catch that in on the side, like so. Take us some turns, touching turns. It's gonna help support the front of half of this fly. And also uh, give it a little movement on the surface film there. Pull that good and snug. We'll come in and trim this out. Now we're gonna push this, we're gonna pull this foam out and stretch it just a little bit. We'll pull it back over that dubbing. Catch it in just a little bit. So let us build up a little head there in the front. Pull everything out of the way. And come in and whip this off. Really productive uh, panfish pattern. I've been using this one for a long time. So long, I don't even remember where I got it from. Clean out that eye. And then we'll come in, scissors down, a little bit of an angle, and clip that off. And that's it. That is my little black cricket. You can tie these in a brown, black, it's just a really effective pattern uh, when you're trying to imitate a terrestrial there on the water. Give it a tie. Show it to your friends. Uh, tie you some up. Put them in your box. Oh, these will definitely take some fish for you. Uh, super effective pattern. Uh, doesn't cost hardly anything to tie. And if you've tied a few of them, you can really spin them up pretty quick and stock your box up. Hope you enjoyed it. Go check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, join our Facebook page over there. We've got our own tying group for you guys that are tires. Uh, until next time, if you've got anything you want to see, leave it in the comments below, like always. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time, tie lines.